Before we dive into the visualizations, remember that I said visualizations have little to no meaning without a context. So this week, we'll get started working with the World Development Indicators dataset, which is an open dataset on Kaggle. This is just a slightly different modified version from the dataset that's actually available from the World Bank. So by the end of this video, you should be able to use the World Development Indicators dataset to conduct data science. The first step with any data set is to perform an initial exploration. So first, let's import pandas, numpy, random, and matplotlib.pyplot. Next, let's read in the CSV file into a pandas data frame and display the shape of the data. For this to work for you, be sure that you've downloaded the data set and placed it in the appropriate directory. So it's a big data set, and reading it may take some time. In fact, the data set has 5.6 million rows, and six columns. So let's now use the head method to see what these columns hold. Interesting. So we've got the name of the country, the code for the country, uh, the name of an indicator, uh, an indicator code, a year, and a value. So this is actually a four-dimensional data set where the dimensions are country, indicator, year, and value. Looking at these indicators, I'm already seeing some really interesting things here. As someone who's environmentally conscious, I'm pretty curious about that CO2 emissions per capita. We'll actually use that metric a bit later. I'm also curious how many countries are in this data set. I can test that by using the unique method on a column of the data frame to find out how many unique entries are in the column. Looks like we've got about 247 countries. I'd like to do a quick sanity check on the data. If we've got 247 countries, we should have 247 country codes. And we do. I'd also like to know how many indicators we have. Wow, 1344 is a pretty extensive list of indicators. You know, if you want to explore a full list of the indicators themselves and more details about them, we have a link for that at the top of this notebook. All right, so we know how many countries and how many indicators. Now we need to know how many years of data we have. So 56 years is a pretty good time frame for data collection. Let's see what this time frame is. Ah, 1960 through 2015. Great. At this point, we feel like we have a pretty good feel for the data set. We have various indicators per country over the time span of 1960 through 2015. In the next video, we'll continue to explore the data using visualizations in Matplotlib.